So I guess here we go. First match of the season versus Bartosio. I'm gonna try and get through as many of these as I can today and then probably either do the rest of them tomorrow or get back to the uh, normal Zenith day-long stuff that I've been playing. But let's jump in. So these are seven board sets. I have no idea how to pronounce that name, but it's another streamer. That's cool. Um, good to know. Yeah, so I don't know if this is everyone's first time in the league or if it is... Uh, I, I know this is my first time playing, so I got placed into whatever this division is. I think it's for newcomers. Um, but all right. First board, seven board match here. And we have two passes to us. I am going to open a heart. Two hearts by a partner, three diamond overcall. This, <laughs> it's so weird because you get different inferences, and I think maybe this is a good time to touch on something I, I was thinking about since I, we had this conversation a few days back, Will, about is it helpful to play in club games or should you not do that? Um, you kind of want to hone your inferences about what auctions mean and like what hands look like from your partner and the opponents based on the field that you want to be competing against. So if, if you want to like compete for a national championship, then maybe you want to play a bit more against um, players of that caliber. If you want to just have a good time and play with friends at the local club, then you want to play more against players at the club game. Um, your results will improve if you can better guess what people's hands look like. So this kind of bid, if a human makes this bid, they could not possibly have a two diamond preempt because they were passed. Whereas for the robots, uh, they frequently will have a six card or seven card diamond suit for this bid because for whatever reason, they didn't think their hand was good enough to preempt. So this just means that I have to, you know, be a little careful about what's going on in East hand as opposed to with a human where this would kind of look like they have a five card diamond suit, heart shortness, and you know, maybe some maximum past hand, um, something to that effect. I mean, in reality, this would be such a weird bid for a human to make that it would almost never happen. So, uh, well, partner didn't bid Drury. You're thinking East had four spades. So, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> It's kind of weird, though, um, because with heart shortness, I mean, East shouldn't bid if he doesn't have heart shortness, right? He doesn't have points, he didn't open the bidding, and if he has four spades, then with heart shortness, he would probably make a takeout double. So it's, I, I don't know, I mean, something weird is obviously happening when this bid comes in. Nonetheless, it's not... Our hand doesn't look like we want to defend three diamonds doubled. Now I'm wondering if double is maximal. No, double is penalty. Bots can't preempt with a side major. I mean, I think I've seen them do it once, but they frequently don't if they have three cards in the other major, or three cards in any major. So if East has three spades and six diamonds, he might bid this way. That's very possible. Um. I heard two hearts. I mean, I don't really want to bid a game. Maybe I should, though. Like, I have nothing wasted in diamonds. It's just small doubleton diamond is really not the holding I want. I'm going to pass. I mean, I mean, not pass. I'm going to bid three hearts. Like, we're not vulnerable at imps. If we lose six, we lose six. It's not the end of the world. I think it is, we just have so many losers. Uh, is that true? There is a tricky distinction here because, well, for one thing, I would be playing double as a game try with most of my partners, and then I would double. And then partner would know if he has no wasted cards and diamonds, stuff in the black suits, he could bid game if he has 
like the Diamond King or something, he could just bid three hearts and sign off. Um, it's a little weird not having a game try, so maybe for that reason I should just blast the game. All right, I've kind of gone back on my thought process. Like, I don't think this is going to be a good game. I think it's very possible we're just down off the top. But, oh, maybe we get a hand like this and we're just cold for the first 12 tricks. Yeah, this is one of these hands where I think if I had made a game try, partner could look at his good five card suit, his roughing value in diamonds, the jack 10 doubleton, and bid four hearts, but I would have made it a lot harder on him. Uh, but okay. So opening club lead, we get to win cheaply. I'm just going to claim 12 tricks. I mean, we can pulse four rounds of trumps if necessary, but we have six hearts, five clubs, and the spade ace. Not going to fool around too much with, uh, with this hand. Yeah, wow. <laughs> So East has seven diamonds and four spades, and I mean, most humans would not think twice about this hand. They would just open three diamonds, maybe even four diamonds in second seat, uh, all white. But with the robots, they hate doing that. I guess it's programmed into their code that they don't want to, and so East bit his hand like this. It is a little shocking, though, that East didn't save. So I think with East's hand, if I did bid this way, I would balance four spades. And that kind of shows everything that East has. He has a hand that didn't want to preempt because he has a side four card spade suit. Um, at imps, I mean, it looks to him like four, four hearts is making. So I think, I think I would want to sacrifice if possible. And it looks like they don't have a lot of losers. I mean, they make four spades. I think. Yeah, it, it looks as if they make four spades on any lead. So yeah, it was kind of a double game swing there. But all right. Well, not a bad first board. Second board, we have some more hearts again. <laughs> OK, so I don't hate a one no trump opener here. I am really not that opposed to it. The worst thing that happens is partner bids two hearts, transfer to spades, and drops us in two spades. And it might not be the end of the world if partner does that. But what it has going for it is that the opponents don't know our trick-taking potential. Uh, maybe this hand's a little too strong for it with seven tricks and a 16 count. I mean, maybe we should like open a heart and rebid two now which is probably what I'm going to do. Um, but the point is, like, we're playing imps, and with a balanced hand like this, it's going to be much easier to take nine tricks than it will be to take ten. So angling for three no trump with a one no opener will get us to what looks like our more likely game. But anyway, I'll open a heart, and I'm going to rebid two no. Um, again, my hand is balanced. It's not that my hand isn't really worth a three heart bid, it is. I'm well within the range to make that bid, but I just think that four hearts is gonna be much harder to reach with all of these like scattered values, like these jacks are not necessarily playing well. So I'm going to invite and no trump and partner's going to accept. And a really important reason why I've done this is because of the solid six card heart suit. Um, Okay, well, that, this might not go well. Um, I mean, spades could break. They could be 4-4. Like, this could be a fourth best spade. Kind of feels like it might be fourth best from a five card suit, though, with the two missing. But we'll see soon enough. Uh, looks as if both games probably need the club finesse to work, so it's kind of like playing in four hearts is okay. Hey, Lapras, thank you for the raid. Hope your stream went well. 
We are playing some Bean Cup right now, some of our Bean Cup matches. Okay, well, it looks as if the spades are breaking, which is good news for us. Now we just need the club hook to be working and we will make our game. So let's throw a diamond. Your matches went a bit less well. That's, that's too bad. Um, <laughs> hopefully you don't bring the bad luck with you, but I, I think we'll do all right. Diamond to the jack. Right. <laughs> uh, so is it possible that the club hook is working? Because I don't want to go down like four tricks unnecessarily in this contract. East is a passed hand. Lead the... <laughs> I'm not even remembering. East led a low spade. It went to the it went to the West had both the king and queen of spades, I'm pretty sure. Man, I have not been paying attention to this deal. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm just going to try and make my vulnerable game. Let's do that. No. <laughs> All right, how bad is it? Really bad. Three down. Okay, so that is kind of a benefit of playing in hearts. You don't get, um, you don't end up going down three in these kinds of positions when, when the finesse doesn't work. Eh, probably lose a few imps. I mean, I have to imagine that they'll be reaching four hearts on this deal, and then they just have. Well, maybe Four Hearts is making. I mean, the diamond position's a little tricky for East-West to navigate. Like, maybe East needs to get in with the Spade King and switch to the Ten of Diamonds before the King of Clubs gets knocked out. I don't know. Oh, well, that could be a huge swing for our opponent on this one. Anyway, moving on, board three. 20 highs. We could open two, no. I think I'm just gonna open a spade. I mean, my hand has stuff. Like, I wanna show my two suits. What is three hearts? Natural with hearts. Um, I think I'm just gonna bid three now. I mean, four hearts could be the top spot. But we have a balanced hand. We have some club help. And we get a heart lead. Of course we do. Partner has a good hand over there. So what do we have in terms of tricks? We have five spades, probably. Two hearts, two clubs, a diamond. I mean, all of this looks like we're already doing well enough to make the contract. So let's go ahead and test some of these suits. Spade to the ace. Makes sense to me. We'll lead a diamond. Club switch. The opponents are just being ever so helpful. Um, I don't know. I mean, I could play for a squeeze. The ten of spades fell. I guess no reason not to. Maybe I should just claim. I mean, this is one of these hands where f I would probably just claim at, at the table, stating some sort of line of play. <clears throat> um, do, do, do. Uh huh. I wasn't watching. I don't think the Nine of Diamonds is good. But all right, 460. Not bad. On to board four. Uh, 15 highs. <laughs> 
I, this is one of these hands we can't open a no trump anymore in the ACBL. I'm not sure I would necessarily want to, but it is something that I think makes some sense. Um, otherwise, it's hard to show your extra values here, right? Like, North can have 10 high card points and we want to be in game, but we don't really have a good way of getting there. Okay, well, we do if this is the auction, right? <laughs> Two no trump. Um, I could pattern out. Oh, apparently I can't. Supposedly three spades shows a four card spade suit. Well, then let's raise to three no. And we're gonna be a little thin. Partners of past hand, so can't have all that much in terms of extra high cards. King of diamonds lead. Yeah. So what have we got off the top? We have four clubs, two hearts and a diamond, that's seven. We should be able to set up tricks eight and nine in the heart suit. I mean, the heart finesse might just work and we could take all of our tricks immediately. Or maybe they don't work out to switch to spades. I guess a couple of options. We could just win the diamond ace and take a heart hook. I mean, that's 50-50 for us to make our contract, right? Immediately. And then we still have some chances, even if that doesn't work. Alternatively, we could duck this trick. Now, I do know the tendencies of the robots. East is never going to continue diamonds if we duck this trick, which means East will switch to something. But maybe East doesn't work out to switch to spades. And so if he switches to like clubs or hearts, then we've given ourselves this little extra chance that um, we can like cross to the club base, take a heart hook, and West won't have anything better to do than like switch back to diamonds. Oh, you know what? You know what a problem is? We might get stranded in dummy if we duck the diamond king. That's an issue. Ooh, that's something I hadn't really considered. Like, we duck the diamond king, even if they switch to clubs and we win the ace, run the jack of hearts. I guess that's fine, actually, then. If the jack of hearts wins, we can cash the diamond ace, otherwise the nine of hearts is an entry. Hmm, 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 hmm. Is ducking a form of bath coup? I don't think so. I forget what a bath coup is, but... I do not believe this is the position. I mean, the bath coup is like a legitimate thing that works. Here, I'm just like hoping for some sort of misdefense, which remember, North's hand's concealed, so East-West don't actually know what's going on. Um, like, I know that it's correct for East-West to switch to spades if I duck, but maybe East doesn't work that out. I mean, he probably should, but it's not 100%. You know, my only concern is like, if I win the ace, run the jack of hearts, it loses, then a diamond comes through. And I mean, it's not that I'm going down extra tricks, which I would be, but then East is gonna cash as many diamonds as possible. His partner might show out and then they'll switch to spades and get the defense correct like 100% of the time. I think ducking gives us at least a chance that we still make the contract when the Heart Queen is off. But we could go down when the Heart Queen is on. I don't know, these are, it's not obvious what I should be doing. I guess I'm just gonna win the ace and run the heart jack. You know, there's not a whole lot of info on the auction. Here comes a diamond. Um, 
I do have to make some uncomfortable discards from the dummy, don't I? Hmm. <clears throat> well, I guess we should ditch a spade. Maybe a club is the right discard. I don't know, we don't have enough tricks if I ditch a club, but I think my best shot is going to be East Continues Diamonds somehow, in which case the diamonds will provide the extra tricks. Yeah, let's do that. Nine of diamonds. So can I ditch another club? Okay, I would have taken four hearts, two clubs, and two diamonds. Oh, three diamonds. Yes, I can ditch another club safely. Do I need to count that again? No, I don't. Okay, nine of diamonds, jack six. Let's dump the eight. Jack of spades. <laughs> that, uh, that's a pretty telling switch. I think I should cover. I don't know. It, this feels like there's not much hope. Hope is quickly fading on making this one. Well, we do have the rest now, but we were down two. And probably nothing we could have done. I mean, it looks as if, as long as East didn't continue diamonds at trick two, and even if he did, the opponents would still be able to find a spade switch um, to collect at least a diamond to heart and three spades. So, not a whole lot we could have done to make the contract, but uh, we took a sensible line. 23 highs, wow, this is a big one. So I guess we'll open two clubs and rebid two no. Wait, that's not two diamonds from our partner. So Westover calls diamonds, and we have queen jack third. The colors aren't exactly right for us to double them and go after it. I wonder what double is. Just balanced whatever. How can I find a major fit? I could bid three diamonds. Oh no, apparently I can't. Apparently three diamonds is natural. <laughs> yes, because obviously I would want to compete to a higher level in the opponent's suit. That makes sense. Well, I'm just going to bid two now. Uh, transfer, I assume. All right. We've found spades. Partner has tried three no trump. I'm going to pull. I mean, I'm just worried that like we're off a king somewhere and West has the ace king of diamonds. Uh, three now could easily be the right spot. Um, so how'd we end up? We have maybe a heart loser and two diamond losers, something to that effect. Feels right. Uh, 
Okay, as long as trumps aren't 4-0, and I mean, even if they are, we're probably still fine. Oh, I don't need to continue pulling trumps. Uh, let's... I guess cash some clubs and play a heart to the queen or something like that. Seems unlikely that we're going to be getting this over trick. Ooh, all right. But also, the king did not drop. Cool. Well, 3 0 also was going to make on that one and would have been a better match point score. Ooh. This is exciting. <laughs> Red on white, two diamond preempt in front of me. I'm sitting with ace jack, 10 fifth. Well, I am going to pass. It's going to be really funny when this passes out. Okay. Two diamonds doubled, it is. Now, maybe we should do a quick trick count on this. I mean, I'm pretty sure at these colors I should just check this out. But we could be cold for like six hearts, right? I mean, if partner just has the ace king of hearts and the king of spades, and a singleton diamond, you know, which feels likely, we might lose a club. How many are we getting against two diamonds if that's partner's hand? I mean, so it looks like Declare then gets presumably the ace of clubs, which we're guessing. They'll get at least a diamond trick. They'll get at least, I guess, three diamond tricks because my three two of diamonds are not good spots. I don't know, that's like 1100 still. Seems good enough. Well, let's try for our club roughs, because these small trumps are not helping me. Wow. <laughs> okay, yep. Nine of spades to the ten king ace. So it is looking like we were called for six hearts. <laughs> That's fine. That's totally okay. Nine, ten, king, ace. Not really sure what I want to do defensively. I mean, I could cash the spade queen, play a spade. That feels wrong. I mean, partner might have the, like, eight, seven of spades. Declare could have the jack, I guess. I think we just switched to hearts. Okay, partner switches to diamonds. That's good information for us, because now we know what the entire diamond suit is. So we want to avoid getting end played. And what does that mean? I guess that means we should... Hmm. I don't know if we can avoid getting end played, actually. Because if Declare is actually like 3-2 in the majors, we can win the diamond ace, cash our three major suit tricks, and then partner could give me a club rough, but then I exit my last major to him, and then he leads a middling diamond, and I'm in trouble. Is there any way I can avoid this? If partner gives me two club roughs, oh no, not the mosquito again, it's back, and it just bit me on my face. I'm gonna have mosquito pimples all over. Well, I think we win the ace of diamonds. So if I get two club roughs, we're okay, but how likely, that seems impossible, right? So I think what needs to happen is I need to play something to my partner's hand, 
they give me a club rough, then we cash correctly our major suit winners, and then they play another club throw. I believe that's the only way for us to get the maximum number of tricks. So how can I convince them to do that? Do the bots play suit preference signals with roughs? Uh, no, as far as I can tell. They should, but they do not. Well, I think partners 4441. Four, four, That's my guess. So I believe if I continue another low heart, partner will give me a club rough. Oh, I really hope if I continue a low heart. I'm worried if I continue a low heart that partner's going to play spades through. Okay, well, we've worked out the right defense. Hopefully partner can too. Nope. Partner could not. Spade to the eight, queen, and four. We'll play a spade back. And another spade. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this good enough now? No, it's not, right? I really needed to rough with one of my small trumps. Uh, I don't think I can do anything anymore. If I ditch a heart, Declare can lead a club. I rough, I play back a heart, Declare exits a middle trump. If I over rough and play a heart, Declare just gets to pull trumps. Oh, wait, that's not true, is it? Okay, hold on, this, this might work. <laughs> this might work, maybe I'm just slow. And by maybe, I mean I am just slow, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is fine. Okay, good defense partner. You figured it out. <laughs> nice club discard, bud. Very nice. So 1100, we do make six hearts. Or do we? Maybe six hearts is a little trickier than I thought, but I mean, I'm still quite happy scoring 1100 on defense. Obviously, that should be a good result. Um, board seven, so we have 14. We'll open a speed. Oh, so last board of the match. This is great. Uh, then I will be jumping into another one. So speed, no trump. Three spades? I mean, three spades feels like the right amount. Our spade suit is pretty awful. It does not play well opposite a singleton. Maybe it's more prudent to bid two spades or even like two clubs. Uh, this is like a super maximum for a two spade bid though. No, no, I'm I can't take it. I'm gonna try for game. We're red at imps. Let's just get there and see how bad it is. Okay, not too bad. I like it. We have Hopefully no spade losers, a heart loser, maybe two club losers, and maybe a diamond loser. Is there any way to set up the heart suit? I mean, yes, there could be like ace-king third of hearts somewhere. So we could win the king of spades in hand, lead a heart, ducking in dummy, cross to the spade ace, rough a heart. Uh, cross to the diamond jack, rough a heart, and then cross back to the diamond king, but that's like already presuming we've guessed the diamond suit. I guess there could be ace king doubleton of hearts, so that's the extra chance we can have by um, ducking the opening spade lead. I'm that feels a bit remote. So instead, what do I want to try? Well, I've talked a lot about frozen suits, and we can, there's some potential to freeze the club suit. 
um, on this deal. And more importantly, we can still run a bunch of tricks towards the end of the hand and end in the dummy um, on this kind of line of play. So I'm thinking I want to pop up with the spade ace and lead a club to the jack. And then if east has a club honor and west has an honor and clubs with the nine, the club suit will be frozen. Then we can basically just run all of our tricks and come down to an end position where maybe we can force the opponents to lead clubs for us. So I think I'm going to try that line. I mean, there's no guarantee that any of this is going to work. Maybe the king, queen of clubs are on side. Maybe we get a club return immediately. <laughs> maybe West forgot to lead the ace, king of hearts. Um, anything could happen. Wow. OK, that was not what I was expecting. But I'm beginning to wonder if spades are 4 1. I guess there's no real way to avoid that issue, is there? So let's figure it out. Spades are 4 1. OK. So good news, we can still make the contract if we guess the diamond queen. Um, I mean, I'm probably going to play east for that card. West has already turned up with a bunch of high cards. I mean, didn't bid over a spade. And east has short spades. Hmm. That makes sense to me. The, the alternative is I could still take this line of play where I like basically strip squeeze east and throw them in in diamonds. Well, I think it's fine to just get a bit of a better count on the hand. I can continue a spade. West probably plays hearts. No, nope, they just play diamonds. Fair enough. Um, it seems as if I was going to get the guess right. No, I wasn't. But important to note the uh, line of play by, whatchamacallit, the frozen club suit would have come home for us. So I hadn't really decided what I was going to do yet. Um, oh my god, look at this. It was ace-king doubleton of hearts. So had I won the opening spade with the king, I would have I would have legitimately set up a heart. That's so funny to me. All right, here is our results for this match against Bartosio. Lots of push boards across the entire set, even the two diamonds doubled going four down. Just a couple of swings based on going down, one or two too many tricks and a few contracts. Board two, we were a little greedy trying to reach a no trump game that had some potential to make, and then we ended up taking a finesse, which cost us a few imps. Um, and then similarly on board four, it looks like we both got a little overboard, but we were able to take one more trick as declare and come out with three imps on that one, but two imps net negative on this set. A solid match overall for both of us, good performance, I would say. Good game, Bartosio, and I hope to see you around in the future.